red ochre is basically just iron oxide, and it's one of the most common minerals on Earth. Iron is, after silica, iron is there. So iron is in everything and every place. But red ochre is a certain kind of iron. It's iron that has enough clay and things in it to sort of be like a pigment. It can be used as a preservative. Uh, you can use it for a sunscreen. You can use it to paint your body for ritual purposes. There's just a whole lot of things that you can do with it, and people did in the past. And prehistoric people didn't have very many pigments they could use, but uh, uh, red ochre was, was one of them. And for some reason, uh, red ochre has been valuable to prehistoric people for hundreds of thousands of years. Worldwide, we see the use of red ochre in early societies. It's used as, as a symbolic material. And almost anywhere in the world, you can get red iron oxide someplace nearby. So to have a place where they were actually mining it and putting that kind of effort into it probably does signify that this, this source had a special significance. It looks like it was visited over and over and over again. It looks like we're looking at ritual activity. And we have to make that case based on kinds of artifacts, context of artifacts, and all that sort of stuff. So we're finding these points and other artifacts that really look like they're being put there as offerings. We're connecting those dots and saying, well, looks, it looks like we're seeing a, a ritual aspect of society in the past, which is really exciting because it's very hard to get to, into people's minds in the past.